Hey, what's up guys? Um, just taking a little break. I was uh, mixing down uh, some tracks that I'm trying to finalize for uh, an album I'd like to put out here shortly. And uh, I thought I'd share this with you. Um, it's a little uh, little uh, technique that uh, I got from my good buddy Slavic Livens over at Fragile Music Group. Um, it's the, the same guy where um, uh, I tell you guys to get the free samples from, my, my good buddy Slav. Um, he pretty much mixes uh, and masters anything I ever put out officially. Uh, lately I've been trying to mix myself and this is where this comes in handy. I was having a problem, as I'm sure most of you guys are if you have home studios, um, getting balances on instruments. Uh, you know, you can have a nice set of speakers and everything, uh, but most home studios don't suffer from bad speakers. They suffer from shitty rooms. And by shitty rooms, I'm talking about uh, vibration isolation, sound absorption. Um, you don't have that. I'm almost certain most of you don't. I know I don't, you know, and, I, and I've tried over the years to kind of tighten up the room. But uh, it's really hard to figure out where the balances are. Um, a lot of people recommend headphones, which is, you know, we think headphones, we think something like this. And uh, it's still kind of problematic. So, um while I was working on this project a few months back, I asked Slav, you know, like, you know, do you have any ideas on how to remedy this? And he uh, brought up a simple solution. I guess he uses this um, when he's mastering stuff as a quick reference. And I tried it, and man, I've, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the standard I live by now. When you're mixing and you're getting your balances and the stuff sounds good on your speakers and it sounds decent in the cans like the ones I just showed you, uh, the last check, and this is, I mean, it'll really, if something's not right, it'll pop out right away, is actually to use, believe it or not, folks, these bad boys right here, just some plain old earbuds. Now, I have the uh, the iPhone earbuds, and uh, I guess you could probably use anything, but he says that these, for some reason, um, the way Apple designed them or whatever, um, really kind of expresses the out of frequency stuff more and uh, uh, I have noticed that and uh, you know sometimes I think I, I've got my balances uh, pretty leveled off everything sounds good it sounds good on my speakers sounds good on my cans and then I pop these in and all of a sudden you know it's like wow man the the guitar is like sticking out like crazy and so what I'll do is and I, I, I recommend you do this too you know, when you're mixing on your speakers, you get the balances, you know, you get your low end, your high end, your mids, everything sounds good. When when you've mixed all the sounds individually and blended them, uh, plug in some earbuds and then simply adjust your levels. Don't EQ, don't do any reverbs or anything like that. This is strictly for volume controls. So when you pop these in, you, you'll hear maybe something sticking out, maybe you're not hearing something enough and just move your faders and and it's pretty amazing you know um i i'm using it all the time now and it's it's really helping a lot anyway uh that's it i hope it helps you too peace